Hello there, I'm John Jerica, and I just want to tell you a little bit about myself today. I'm a family physician, I've practiced over 30 years, and uh, let me tell you about my background. I grew up in the Chicago area, I went to school at the University of Illinois at Chicago, and studied chemistry, graduated from that, and uh, became a food chemist at Kraft R&D for two years. Following that, I was lucky enough to get into med school at the University of Illinois in Champaign-Urbana. And once I completed medical school, I immediately went to my family medicine residency in Rockford, Illinois. I served as the chief resident for my final year there and found a practice an hour south of Chicago with a couple of other family physicians who had been in practice a few years. I found that I got really interested in doing other things besides just seeing patients early in my career. Uh, as I think back, you know, I did stints as a UM physician advisor. I was a medical director for a family planning clinic, the medical director for occupational medicine. And somewhere in there, I spent a couple of years uh, obtaining a master's degree in public health. And then I left my practice and started my own practice. And in between, I also worked as a founder and the medical director and president for an independent practice or independent physician association or IPA that were popular in the late 90s. So that was fun, but I was able to leverage all those experiences and become uh, ultimately the, the, the VP, the senior VP and chief medical officer for a 300 bed hospital. And I did that job for 14 years. So I have a lot of experience with non-clinical careers, a lot of experience with hospital management and um, but I did always want to do other entrepreneurial ventures. So I left that and partnered with some investors and a, a, a businessman to open an urgent care center and then a second and then a third during the pandemic. And then once, once the pandemic slowed down, we cut it back to two. So I'm still involved with that, although I don't see patients there anymore, even though I'm still technically the medical director. Along the way, I've been in, 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 involved in other entrepreneurial ventures. I helped my wife start her franchise 12 years ago. It's a home helpers franchise, and she still runs that. And that's, that's fun and interesting. Tom Davis and I put together a, a new community. It's an app on your phone called New Script. And that's been going for uh, actually less than a year at this time. And it's a place where uh, physicians and other clinicians can get together for mentorship, encouragement, learning, education, that sort of thing. I'll talk about that in a minute. And um, I got interested in learning more about other non-clinical careers and non-traditional careers. And what could physicians do to overcome burnout and find a, a situation where they were really satisfied and, and playing to their strengths and not being crushed by... Uh, the healthcare system as so m many of us have become. So that's when I started blogging and then I started a podcast. It's a weekly podcast, started about five years ago. I've got more than 250 episodes out there. Uh, now I get about 2,000 listeners a week and um, the it keeps going. Um, most of those episodes are interviews with physicians who are uh, trying different things, working in different non-clinical or non-traditional careers or jobs or side gigs or starting a new business, that kind of thing. Uh, some of them are with experts in career transition and some are just solo episodes of me talking about something that I've learned about or that I'm interested in, but all related to overcoming burnout and finding a new job and uh, becoming more independent of the healthcare system. Um, so today I've done other things. I have an online Academy. It's called Non-Clinical Career Academy, where I have 25 uh, courses to help physicians and other clinicians uh, shift in their careers, overcome burnout, and so forth. I have uh, consulting and coaching that I do. Um, I work uh, quite a bit on NewScript now with my partner. And I also put out a daily email, which usually has something that's, again, encouraging, inspiring, or informational, educational about the very same topics that, that I've just mentioned. So I do have other pastimes and other hobbies. I like to read. I exercise pretty regularly. I compete 
in the USATF Masters competition, which is track and field. I run the 100 and 200 meter dash there and at the senior games and some of the state games uh, since I've been 50. And I'm well over 50 now, but I've, I thought that was a way to continue to stay in shape. I play bluegrass guitar when I have a chance. I've traveled a fair amount. You know, I've been trekking in the Himalayas and I've visited Jerusalem and been to Paris a dozen times and I'm still studying French even today. Um, and I'm married. I've been married for 22 years. Uh, my wife and I have five grown children. I have two. She has three, so I have three stepchildren. Um, I come from a family with seven siblings and two, uh, nine siblings rather, and seven sisters, two brothers. So we get together quite frequently. Um, and I guess that's kind of it. You know, if, if I look back and I think about what drives me at this point, um, it's really two main principles that I tend to live by here, at least professionally. One is that all physicians and actually all clinicians who have devoted themselves to, to helping patients in the healthcare system really deserve to have a career that uh, you know brings them purpose and is satisfying and fulfilling, really, and, and isn't painful to work in. So that's one of the things that's what drives me. The other is that I think and I believe that physicians are natural leaders. And so a lot of what I do is to encourage and, and promote physicians as leaders in the healthcare system and elsewhere, because I think the more physicians that are involved at that level, uh, the better healthcare and the healthcare system will be. So that's a little bit about me. I hope you've uh, learned something and uh, you, know, you can feel free to contact me on LinkedIn or through my email or uh, you know, my course, my website at nonclinicalphysicians.com. And I hope to, uh, to see and interact with you sometime in the future. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.